everyone and welcome back. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Simran and I'm a fifth year medical student studying at Imperial College London. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is a sort of a day in the life slash study with me video. So the reason for that is because I'm currently on my specialty choice placement, SCP. So this is a student selected placement where we get to pick an aspect of medicine or surgery that we want to explore further or we consider as a future career option. So I've decided to do a clinical audit and the reason for this was because because I'm not really set on something that I want to go into um, in the future. So I thought the best kind of use of this opportunity would be to do something where I can get something out of it. And that's the main reason why I picked to do this clinical audit. So my understanding from this three week placement about what a clinical audit is, to find out if the care that you're offering is in line with the, the set standards. So these standards can be set by organizations such as NICE or the trust that you're currently working at. And then from there you can see, you know, how can it be improved and uh, what can be done um, going ahead. The project that me and a few other students are doing is based on patient safety and today we have a presentation with our supervisor so I'm literally running yeah no no I'm not running late I'm gonna be on time I'm gonna be on time it's gonna be fine and I'm actually quite nervous because obviously I want to get something out of it and I really hope that what we present today is something that you know can be taken forward so yeah fingers crossed that it goes well but then after that I'm going to be doing a little bit of studying yeah we really need to go because I'm running late see you in a bit guys How old is your son? He's uh, GCSE, let's see. Oh, GCC. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Tell him I said good luck. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, thank you. No worries. basically presented and it went well like oh my god like I'm so happy like you know I was a bit nervous before going in and like I was like oh I don't know if it's gonna be like good like and if it's gonna be something that's actually worth like taking forward but like does he want to chill he said that it's something that we can kind of take forward which is what I wanted so we're all good guys. There's a few corrections that we needed to make so we've done that now and we've sent off like the final slides to him so he can then show it to other members of the team as well as sending it to one of the conferences that's happening later on this year. So yeah, hopefully we hear back from them and it's all like good. One of the annoying things about like this is that um, to meet our consultant we actually had to wait like half an hour because he was like trying to fit us between his lists and stuff. <laughs> With doing medicine there's a lot of waiting around for a consultant to be available and like stuff like that. Overall like it was a really really positive response from him. Now I'm off to um, the South Kensington campus to basically do some work so let's go! extremely hungry as you can tell haven't eaten anything all day starving um uh, oh, thank god it didn't break after i finish this i'm going to start studying so basically i'm actually quite behind um and it's stressing me out oh i was taking it like quite chill like but then i realized i'm halfway through the year and i'm like wow yeah there's a lot of work to do. So this year is my, um, like one of my clinical years and I have to know about like three different specialties in a lot of detail. So that's obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics and also psychiatry. So I've done two of the placements, pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology. So um, what I'm gonna do is use this thing called PassMed. It's actually really, really good um, and do some questions and then read up on some of the conditions that come up in these questions. I feel like that's the best way to learn in my opinion. Alongside that I also have the pathology exam so for that we have around a hundred and something lectures um, that I have to go through out of the hundred lectures okay I have done a solid 10 I'll show you my spreadsheet guys and you'll see how much there is like blank like oh my god I just can't now you might be thinking whoa that's a lot of stuff to catch up on but 
you know what I'm thinking? It's better than nothing. And I was just getting into the flow of working for half a year. For half a year. But it's okay. I'm getting into it. Basically, I've got you here as my accountability partners, okay? So I'm telling you this. And you know what? We're going to smash it. You know what? We're going to smash it. Smash, smash, smash. Yeah. guys literally okay can we just ignore my spot situation let's just let's just get over that like over it let's not highlight it <laughs> like you know i feel like i need a crowd at all times to like clap and like laugh at my jokes but oh well okay the i've just finished my first lecture it took me an hour to do it it was all about like thyroid and thyroid diseases i've got another lecture printed off so we might as well get on with it Oh, on to the next. So this next lecture is all about pediatric clinical chemistry. Doesn't seem that long, which is good. Because, yeah, I need a break after this. Second lecture, done. Another one. Basically, though, I'm kind of a bit bored in this location, so I might change it up. This is one of the things I really like about studying at university, like on campus, that like if you're bored, you can just go to another location, like, you know, switch it up. So I decided to go to the library to do some work and there's different floors for different kind of study sessions you want. So there's quiet study versus silent study. And I opted to go to the silent study section and basically get started on some past med questions. And then I realized I have 139 days till my exam, which stressed me out but guys it really did help me get into the work zone so my setup for going through questions is basically reading up about the condition that comes up in the question um, and the great thing about past med is that it already has quite a lot of the information underneath the question and I also like to kind of supplement that with um, the textbook and then write up questions for myself based on that so i'm testing myself as i go along and also when i come back to it i have these questions ready for me and when it comes to looking at the management because you know we need to know that now i look at this guide which is compiled by the medical education society at imperial and it's so so good because i rather than looking at individual websites i just look at this guide which has it all in one place after i finished a good sesh i was so done and i went to go see a friend and literally when i went into the library it was so bright and then when i came back out it was pitch black so I chilled with her for a bit and then I decided to do one more lecture in another cool location and I feel like this video has turned into locations to study at Imperial. Um, but yeah, can we just appreciate how nice this space looks, guys? And look at me doing my third lecture. My camera battery is charging, guys, because it ran out, so I'm recording on my phone now. Literally, I could fall asleep right now. Basically, I'm just gonna go home because I'm tired and I think I've done a good job considering I had stuff in the morning morning i did some work i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna eat some home cooked food before we go we need to tick stuff off the spreadsheet because that gives me so much satisfaction guys when I got home I was so tired so this is me filming the next day and I just wanted to say thank you literally so much for watching this video like all the way to the end and I just really really appreciate it like you guys don't understand like how much this means to me and I hope this video was like useful for you and I feel like for me it's like motivated me a lot to like study more like I need that sort of motivation right now um and i hope that st it's done the same for you guys so yeah if you like the video please please give it a thumbs up um subscribe to my channel and comment down below what kind of videos you want to see in the future so yeah thank you so much for watching guys much love bye